Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just want to talk a little bit today about shopping and during this crazy time we're living in, this pandemic. Now, some of the states have started reopening, you know, after the big lockdown, and uh, people are getting out and about more. Stores are reopening, mostly, you know, slowly and carefully, reduced hours, new rules about social distancing and everything. And I want to talk to you guys about your experiences. I want to know from you, what have been your experiences um, going out and shopping during this time? Have you been doing it? If you haven't, why not? And hopefully you guys have been uh, very careful. You've been wearing masks and using hand sanitizer and washing your hands, maintaining social distance, not crowding aisles and everything. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of my experiences. I have been going out the last few days where I live in Texas. Um, Governor Greg Abbott has loosened restrictions and is starting to open back up the economy. And um, you may think this is a good idea or not a good idea. Regardless, I wanna know what you've been doing during this time and I wanna hear about your experiences. Experiences, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about mine. So when the lockdown happened, Half Price Books, which is a great store, um, it's a chain of stores, but it's very homey filled with retro technology, records, laser discs, uh, great selection of books, all kinds of great stuff. And I buy stuff there to read or to you know, play on my record player or to you know, video games or to resell. I have a booth in an antique mall. I sell stuff at shows. I go to Half Price Books at least once a week and there's quite a few in Texas. And um, I love Half Price Books and I really want to support them. During the lockdown, I actually bought a book from them online. Mostly what I'm gonna be talking about today is shopping at stores, but very briefly, I wanna talk about this book for just a second. It's called Lucky Wonder Boy, and some of you gamers may have heard of it. It's a pretty famous novel by D.B. Weiss, Daniel Brett Weiss. So, of course, I've got to read it because not only is the name similar to mine, he actually worked on Game of Thrones, and um, I believe he was a producer and writer and whatnot. And uh, but anyway, uh, one of the main creators of Game of Thrones, and um, also... The book is about a guy that writes reference video game books. Hello. So yeah, something I can identify with. Really interesting. I'm a couple of chapters in and really enjoying it so far. I'd intended to be much further along, but I've been doing a lot of work on my NES Omnibus book. A lot of stories are coming in that I'm editing. Anyway, I'm going to be reading this more very soon, uh, later this week, and um, really enjoying it so far, but I just had to pick it up. Now, going to the actual half price bookstores, now that they've opened back up, <clears throat> I've gone out to a couple... And they've been doing a great job with social distancing and with just being careful. So as you go in, they have an employee there standing there telling you, you know, the rules. You know, follow this, you know, one-way path. They have markings on the floor, you know, telling you, you know, just to hopefully take a one-way circuit through the store so you're not too close to anybody in time. They say if, you know, there's a cubby with a bunch of book, you know, whatever you're shopping for, and there's already, you know, a person or two in there, just wait till they leave and you can go in there by yourself. And, you know, just, you're not on top of each other breathing and, you know, spreading this nasty uh, disease around and uh, this nasty virus. And so hopefully um, all stores are being that precautious. Half Price Books was very impressive. All the employees had masks on. And um, I believe they required masks for you to go in. I'm, I'm, I wear my mask everywhere I go. Uh, you know, if, if I'm just going in for a few minutes to, to like the post office, you know, I have to go mail books. You know, the economy hasn't completely shut down. And, it, and like I said, it's, as you know, it's opening back up in many areas. And these governors of these states, I feel so, it's just, I mean, rock, meat, hard place. Should, you know, opening back up slowly, carefully, that probably seems smart. Staying completely shut down is, you know, not really workable over the long run. But at the same time, no matter what type of opening you do, how slowly or how carefully, it's going to mean more deaths, more, most likely. I mean, it's just, it's just a horrible position to be in. And if you just stay, stay locked down for months and months and months, what long-term ramifications is that going to have? Anyway, I didn't mean to get political here. My main point with this brief segment is... The governors are in a very, very, very difficult no-win situation. I just really feel bad, and um, it's just awful. Uh, just so much stress and pressure. Very difficult to sleep at night, I would imagine. And so there's no great answer, but 
the economy in many parts is, like I said, slowly opening up. And so I'm trying to support local retailers, local restaurants, and that kind of thing. So Half Price, Book has done a, Half Price Books has done a great job. And I've gone to three or four in the area uh, since this happened. Haven't bought a ton of stuff. I'm not just randomly buying stuff to support these places because they're not charities. They are businesses. But I am trying to support them with things I like. And so at Half Price Books, I bought um, Huckleberry Hound Show, a cartoon I enjoyed when I was a kid. And it's a neat set. It was in the clearance section, so it was a no-brainer. Very nice. I love these uh, Hanna-Barbera sets. They're packaged very nicely, and they're great cartoons. They're just a ton of fun. And I loved this show when I was a kid, so I, that was a no-brainer. I bought that, and I bought <clears throat> a number of records to resell for my antique booth. And they had these for $2 each, and, they're, and they're, the, there's no scratches or anything. They're in excellent condition. Stuff like Adam Ant and Asia... And uh, let's see what else. Billy Squire, not top of the line. You know, we're not talking about the Stones, the Beatles, the Dead, or anything like that. Or, you know, and heavy metal really sells well used, like Ozzy and Judas Priest. And I'm not talking about stuff like that, but still people, you know, Ringo's, Ringo Starr, you know, there's a Beatle right there. And uh, Mick Jagger, not the Stones, but at least uh, Solo. And uh, the Greg Conspiracy, or Greg Ken Band Conspiracy, this record. So, you know, bands and uh, Thoroughgood, as in George Thoroughgood, you know, Eddie Money. Records, you know, from people that that are familiar with, you know, the mainstream public. Records that will sell in my antique booth. I bought them for two bucks each. I'll sell them probably for five or six bucks each in my antique uh, booth. So like I said, I'm not just going out randomly buying anything just to support these stores because they're not charities. Another place I went to, um, but I do want to support them. Another place I went to during this was one of my favorite stores, Game Over Video Games. I went to the South Arlington store in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And it's run by David Kalin, a great guy who has been super supportive of my career. Awesome guy. And um, I went to Game Over Video Games in South Fort Worth, and they were taking precautions as well. Uh, they had both employees were wearing masks. And I didn't buy anything there, because again, I'm not just randomly buying stuff to support them. They're not a charity. But I did look around, and I was really wanting to buy something. Nice selection and everything. I just didn't see anything that jumped out at me. But it was a, not, it was a good experience, because they were friendly. There was one thing. They were only three people could go into the store at a time. And it's a decent-sized store, so I thought that was a little strict. But, you know, like I said, you know, being precautious is great. And there were a couple of people outside waiting. And I thought they were waiting to go in, so we stood outside for a few minutes before I realized, and the guy told me, hey, we're not, we don't have masks. They had mandatory masks at Game Over Video Games. And these people that were out front, they were just waiting for the employees to, to do something, like clean a disc for this customer or something, because they couldn't go inside because they didn't have masks. We thought they were waiting to go in, so we stood outside like a couple of dummies for a few minutes just thinking there were three people in the store. And the guy outside waiting told us, oh, we're not, we're not going in because we don't have masks. Y'all go ahead. And so we did go in, and the customers were very nice. And, I mean, the uh, employees were very nice and, um, you know, talked to us. And one guy even recognized me from, um, you know, my books and stuff. So that was neat. Talked to him for a while. Turbo something or other on the Dallas Retro Gamers website, our Facebook page. He uh, has a complete Turbo Graphics collection, so it was really cool talking to him about that. So always a great experience at Game Over Video Games, even when you don't buy something. So I did pick up another great uh, chain store uh, in the you know Texas, Oklahoma. Um, and actually, in Oklahoma, it's called Vintage Stock, but in Texas, it's Movie Trading Company, both owned by the same guy, very nice man who I've met before. And uh, we went in there, and again, it's not one of these big corporate chains. It is a chain, but very homey feel. Used video games, used movies, new movies, DVDs, new games, all this kind of stuff. Comic books, action figures, toys, all the great stuff we geeks love. I did pick up um, The Wizard, the special edition. Now, this is a new edition of this movie that I already have like a double disc of The Wizard and Cloak and Dagger, just a cheap Walmart one that I got at Walmart. But this is a really cool new special edition with great packaging, great 8-bit art there. I love it, and it's got new features. Audio co commentary with director Todd Holland. Never before released deleted scenes, which should, should be really interesting. There's documentaries and all kinds of stuff. Really excited to open up this. I, or actually to watch it, because my son was driving, and I opened it in the car like a little kid. I was so excited. So you see that art, but you can also, you can flip the cover. So if you want uh, the liner notes and the different cover, you just flip it around. 
Metal Jesus did a video recently about like PlayStation games and Xbox games where you could flip the cover around, which I thought was really neat. Great video. I'll put a link in the comments here or on the video here. And um, yeah, just, just a really great looking packaging. And you can see the discs look really cool. I really like The Wizard. It's obviously kind of a bad movie and it's obviously a commercial for Nintendo and Super Mario Brothers 3 and the Power Club and all that kind of stuff. But it's a lot, a lot of fun. It's so good, it's bad. All right, so I also went to a comic book store in the area, a couple of them. Generation X is the, the one where I actually bought something. Again, I'm not just gonna buy random stuff or just buy to be buying, but I needed some comic book bags for some, um, I got in a collection of Silver Age comic books that I'm putting in my uh, antique booth, and I went by and I bought some Silver Age comic bags. Again, just $6 for 100, which I did discover at Moody, Movie Trading Company later, they're $5, so I overspent by a dollar, but that's okay. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with supporting them, and Movie Trading Company has more buying power because it's a big chain, so they might be a little cheaper on stuff like that, but anyway, I did, uh, you know, I hope you guys are, you know, supporting the stores you love, especially the local stores, and I hope you're getting out if you can, and, you know, everybody talks about being trapped in their homes. I hope you're going outside and taking walks and getting exercise and getting sunshine, all that kind of stuff. I hope you're eating well and taking care of yourself. Please take precautions. Wear masks wherever you go. It's not a government conspiracy to keep you down or to you know, to, to whatever. There's a lot of conspiracies going on. There's a lot of, um, you know, all just these bizarre YouTube videos uh, about conspiracy theories and all this crazy stuff. Regardless of what you believe of, about any of that, this virus is spreading fast and it's, it's you know, it, we're far from being out of the woods. So I hope you guys are wearing your mask, washing your hands, maintaining social distance when you can. Again, thank all of you guys that are having to work during this, first responders, and um, medical professionals and, you know, everybody that's out, you know, delivery people, garbage, you know, garbage man, every, everybody like that, everybody that's having to get out and work. And now more and more with the economy, you know, restaurant workers, with the economy, economy opening up more and more, just, you know, more people in general going out to their jobs. And uh, kudos to everyone trying to be safe, trying to maintain the economy and doing everything they can to, to just make the world a better place during this tough time. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you will like this video. I really appreciate it. Please, in the comments, put what you've been doing um, shopping-wise during the pandemic, during this tough time, during the you know lockdown as they're loosening restrictions. Have you been going out to your favorite stores? What have you been buying? Put in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And tell me your experiences, too. Are people wearing masks? Are you wearing a mask? I've seen some restaurants where nobody's wearing a mask, stores where nobody's wearing a mask. I've seen where everybody's wearing a mask, including you know, employees and uh, customers. So just let me know in the comments your experiences and what you've gotten. I'd love to hear about it. All right. Thanks again, guys. And thanks for subscribing to the channel. I'll talk to you later.